Well, hey everybody. It was kind of a cold weekend here, so we didn't really have any sap flowing. Um, but the week ahead looks good. So I came out today, hoping maybe that the uh, warm up we had would bring some sap, but the wind is blowing pretty hard. And so it's uh, keeping the trees from really producing. A couple are starting to drip, but I went out uh, and I got right about five gallons of liquid sap and probably 10 gallons of ice in, uh, from, from the 50 uh, of tap. So had a lot of ice and I thought I would do a unscientific comparison to see, you hear the question a lot, should I keep the ice or should I throw it away? So here we have our sap hydrometer. This one is a little bit larger than my other one but my other one fell out. <laughs> my other one fell out and broke on the floor when I was looking for it because I couldn't find it and I turned the cup upside down looking for it and it was in the cup and oh, hey, you win some, you lose some. So anyway, this is the liquid sap that I collected and separated from the ice. And we'll take a real, real life measurement. The first time we'll do it is uh, together. So let's see what we get. So we'll just put the hydrometer in there and see and I'll give you a closer view um, from your perspective. Oh, maybe, stand by. Okay, so that's one thing I miss about my old hydrometer. It's only went up to eight bricks, but uh, it was a lot shorter. <laughs> so this one I had to change the buckets over because even though they're the same volume, this is the, uh, this, this bucket has a smaller diameter, so the hydrometer could float more. So we'll put it in there and we'll get the real time sap content, sugar content of this sap. Try to keep it in the opening best I can. And I'll show you here once it stops and stabilizes. Okay, so you can see, or can you? that the hydrometer is telling us this is about three and a half percent sugar, which is really good. For my trees, they typically give me um, 2% is pretty standard. So if you look here and think about all that ice that we threw away, uh, we did have some sugar concentration without boiling. Okay, so we have a measurement that the ice, removing the ice does increase the sugar content of your sap. The second part of the question that you have to answer is, are you throwing sugar away with your ice? So what we'll have to do is we'll have to melt, um, melt this ice, and again, it's, it's five or it's six, gallons frozen volume it obviously won't be that same volume when it's thawed and then we'll measure the sugar content of the the now liquid that this ice is currently and see if there's any sugar and that will be the last part of the question that you'll answer um, you'll have to answer is if it's worth it to keep the ice or throw it away. All right, well, it's been a few days now and the uh, ice is finally melted in the bucket. I didn't want to spend any energy melting it, so I just waited for it to melt on its own. So we have the hydrometer, same hydrometer that we measured, measured, <laughs> easy for you to say, measured the uh, sugar content of the sap. And we'll pour it into this beaker or cylinder. This is the melt water from the ice, if you remember. And we'll see what this reads. And I've used this hydrometer a few times now today to measure um, fresh sap and new sap. So, how well you can see.
there you have it that there's one percent just just under one percent sugar in the melted ice that depends on it so so the answer to the question is is it worth it to save the ice that is frozen in your sap or is it are you better off to keep the concentrated sap that you get when the ice freezes it depends that's always going to be the answer is it depends how big of an operation are you how much time do you have if you're chasing this half of a percent sugar okay for me it's not worth the energy so I'm gonna dump this out not not to mention it's it's kind of nasty of course it's set for a week um, if you mounted it right away and put it into your your system you'd probably be all right so hope that helps you make the decision whether you should keep the sap that freezes or toss it here is proof that it does concentrate your your liquid sap but it also holds sugar in the ice so thanks for watching and i hope you found that useful